So I had a Dell computer that I threw away once and I noticed it had a, a cool little speaker in it so I just saved it and then um, I noticed it had four wires coming out of the speaker so it must not just be a speaker it must be amplified or something so I wanted to see what was inside and maybe there's like an LM386 or something in there so uh, I popped the uh, Pop the little speaker. It's got a cool little oval, oval speaker. Pop that out. And uh, there was a uh, 4 ohm speaker, 2 watts it says. And there's a little uh, board down there, which I thought originally was an LM386, but uh, later found out it was something, some chip I'd never kn I've never known about. So I thought you guys would be interested in this chip in case you want to use it for something. Um, it, it is... It is uh, similar to a 386, but, but certainly different. So let's put it under the microscope. And uh, we'll take a look at the uh, component count here. And it looks like the PC board is labeled, so we'll, we'll know what the uh, signals do. And it is a Dell PC board, at least it's marked Dell. So the chip is a, uh, a 4871 which is uh, interesting. Um, I hadn't heard of that ship before. Now you notice there's no large bypass capacitors, you know, no, no electrolytics. It's all just small uh, surface mount parts. I found a data sheet. It's a Texas Instrument uh, LM4871 uh, Boomer. It's a Boomer. Um, it is an interesting, uh, interesting part. It doesn't have the greatest uh, audio specifications, but it, yeah, it, I'm pretty sure it probably does what a 386 does. It is a, a nice little package. So here's the uh, typical uh, schematic that the data sheet has, and I think this is identical to the data to the uh, schematic that Dell uses. Um, in their little speaker. So the four wires are power ground, which is just five volts, and audio in, capacitively coupled, and then there's a, uh, a mute, a mute button, uh, so that makes sense too. This shows an 8-ohm speaker, but the, uh, the circuit that I've got has a 4-ohm speaker.